I hate the word simplicity, but I think um, we all sort of like have this misconception of our uh, definition of simplicity. I think, um, you know, when it comes to music, you just have to be smart, you know, when you're composing music, um, when you're putting drum grooves together and writing songs. Just, you know, keep it, keep it, keeping it simple means keeping it good. You know, like, you don't want to overdo um, your melodies, you don't want to overdo your sounds and textures for the sake of overdoing them. You know, create good melodies, create good song ideas, good song structure, and follow your instinct. You know, like, good music doesn't have to have a million layers on it. Uh, good music doesn't always have to have a million change-ups and fucking sweeps and side chains and and a million synthesizers layered. Um, you could do all that shit and that's fun and cute, but like I have songs that were literally four, four sounds that are some of my favorite songs that I've ever made. So um, it's not a matter of keeping it simple, it's, it's a matter of keeping it smart. You know, um, the way I look at it is when I compose music, I look at every single instrument as um, a musician on a stage, right? So like, just imagine you're creating a beat or creating a song and every single sound you hear is a person on stage performing the song live. So I have a drummer front and center. I have a, well, I have a, a drummer in the center in the back, right? I have a vocalist front and center. I have a, a bass player to the left. I have a guitar player to the right. I have a keyboard player to the left. Um, I have a guy on the right hitting congas. Um, and that that's it, you know? Um, so if I start to kind of overdo it and add certain elements that I don't need, like a fucking cowbell hand all the way to the left, um, that's just a guy, an extra guy on stage hitting the cowbell, not really adding to the track, right? Um, and so they're, 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 they're useless. And um, so when I add sounds and when I'm building a structure and when I'm building a, a beat or a song, I like to look at every sound that I use as a natural human being on stage uh, playing a role in performing the actual song. And so if there's no use for you, then get the fuck off the stage, you know what I mean? AKA, right click, delete, AKA, drag it to the fucking trash, you know? Um, don't overdo your stuff. You know, it doesn't have to sound so, so, so complicated to be good. Um, and every, I believe that every sound you use should be uh, valuable to the song. Uh, every sound you use, whether it's percussion, or a bass sound, or a synthesizer sound, or strings, or whatever sound you're using, should uh, be um, uh, relevant to the song. Every sound should be dope as fuck. That's the way I look at it, is, you know, every sound should be dope as fuck. <laughs> you know? No whack sounds, man. No unnecessary sounds. No fucking 16 count shakers panned all the way to the right for no reason because you feel like you just need to add shit, you know? Um, every sound you use is a player on stage. You gotta find a, an important role for that person. And if there's no important role, get off the stage, motherfucker. Just doing, doing as much research as possible and acquiring as much information as possible. I think, you know, we are in an age of unlimited resources, unlimited information. You have access to literally all of the keys to success. You have access to literally all of the keys on how to do certain things. Um, and those keys are Google, those keys are YouTube, those keys are Facebook, those keys are Instagram. Um, there's tutorials and information for every single fucking thing you're trying to do. If you're trying to learn how to sidechain your synthesizers, go to fucking YouTube and type in how to, how to sidechain. What is sidechaining? If you're trying to find out where to shop your beats or where to sell your beats, 
Google the shit. And I guarantee you'll find websites like BeatStars, you'll find iStandard, you'll find a bunch of websites. And if that's your thing and that's what you want to do, then by all means, go for it. Um, but there's resources for everything. Do I sample old songs anymore? But to be completely 100% honest with you, no, I don't. I'm creatively just not in that mode right now or just not really in that mode at the moment. Um, I dibble and dabble here and there, but that's it. Uh, to be honest with you, Manuel, I think you should really, really just build this shit from the ground up on your own, man. Like, continue to push on SoundCloud. You should be on Mixcloud. You should be on Audio Man. Um, don't worry about the blogs posting your shit. Blogs don't matter anymore. Get, get your music straight to the people. Um, don't worry about trying to get put on. You know what I mean? Fuck getting put on. Put yourself on. You know what I mean? And I think, I believe that your music is getting to the point where, it, it, well, it is now. It's good enough for you to um, just push and gain the fan base that you want organically and do it on your own. I really believe that, man. But it's gonna take patience, it's gonna take hard work and consistency, content. You know, put a, put, put a bunch of songs out, man. Uh, it's, we live in the era where if you're an artist, it's time to stop holding on to songs, guys. All that, all that shit you're holding on to on your hard drive is a waste, man. You know, you gotta start putting music out. Listen, I'm talking to the artists, the songwriters, the singers, the music producers, all you guys talking about, how do I get out there? How do I brand myself? How do I get known? How do I get people to, um, how do I get on people's radars? Fucking content, man. Your content is your music. You need to start putting out music at a very um, uh, a rapid rate, okay? The days of, ooh, I'm announcing my album and then I'm gonna announce uh, an October release and then I'm gonna put a whole album out in on fucking October 15th and then October 15th comes and no one fucking cares about your album. Why? Because they don't know you yet. They don't know you yet. It's too much for you to ask a stranger to listen to your 15 track you know, 65 minute album when they've never heard a song in their life. It's just too much for you to ask of people. I don't care if the fucking cover looks great. I don't care if you've been posting it on your Facebook every day. People do not care. Why? There's too much fucking music out there for people to care. People swipe away. If they see something they don't know, they swipe it away. If they see something they like, they swipe it right and they save it and they listen. No one cares, man. You gotta get people to care. And the only way to do that is to put out content. And your content is your music. So what I would do is I would put a fucking new beat out every day. Now, you know what, I want some of you producers to try this. Okay, try this shit. You have a, um, a SoundCloud page, you should have a beat thread page too. Okay, this is what you do. Make a beat in the morning, make five beats, right? During the day and then post a beat up at 5 p.m. every day. Post a new beat up 5 p.m. every day and do it every fucking day. Do it, 30, do it 30 days a month, 31 days a month, 365 fucking days a year. Put a new beat out every day, one beat, boom, boom. I don't care if it gets 10 listens. I don't care if it gets 100 listens. I don't care if it gets 1,000 listens, right? Create, an, create a cover, create um, artwork for the beat. Put it on your SoundCloud, put it on Bthread, tweet it, Instagram it, do an Instagram video with the artwork, with the clip, put it on Facebook, and do it once a day. 5 p.m., 4 p.m., 3 p.m., any fucking time. Just put a beat out every day. The weekends too. That's my fucking challenge to all of you producers asking me how do I get put on. Put a new beat out every day. And it doesn't matter if it's your best beat, your shittiest beat, the truth will come out. If you make a five beats, seven beats per week, and one of those beats out of the seven are good, but you post all seven, and one of those beats gets 100 plays, and the other six get 10 plays, you have your answer. The other six suck, and the other one, the one that got 100 plays is probably your best one. All right, but you'll never know unless you put the shit out. 
That's the problem, guys. You guys don't know what level you're on because you're not fucking putting anything out. You're not showing people. You're showing your girlfriend. You're showing your boyfriend. That's cool. You're showing your mom, your dad. That's fine. You're showing your brother. That's cool. You're showing your best friend. Awesome. Cool story. Put that shit on fucking SoundCloud. If it's good, people will come. If it sucks, people won't. So the only way for you to gauge on if you're good and the only way for you to really, really start gaining a following is by putting out a new fucking song every day. Do it. Do it. And if you can't make a beat every day, well then, you gotta just w work with what you got. You gotta try, try to be consistent and do it. But what I suggest is if you are really serious about this, make time every day to make a beat and, put, and post that bitch. Post that bitch on SoundCloud. Do it for a month, all right? That's what I ask you guys. Make a new beat every day and post it up and do it for 30 days straight. 30 day fucking black god challenge, all right? And then in 30 days, let me know what happens. Report back to me and let me know what happens, right? One new beat per day for 30 days straight. You make it in the morning and you post it in, in, in the afternoon and you do it for 30 days straight, it's like the fucking P90X, this is the P90X challenge for producers, right? P90 black, all right, fuck it. Do that shit. And then in 30 days, report back to me and let me know what happened. Which beats got the most views? How many followers did you gain? How many followers did you lose? How many more plays did you get in, the, in those 30 days, right? That's the only way you guys are gonna get your shit off the ground, man. If you're stagnant and you're making beats and you're just fucking saving them, you have incomplete beat here, incomplete beat here, you have a hard drive full of incomplete beats or a hard drive full of heat, no one gives a fuck if no one's hearing it. So put the shit out. Start putting your music out. Stop being a bitch. Stop being a pussy. Stop waiting. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no one gonna come and fucking give you a million dollars. Ain't no one gonna come to give you an opportunity. Like, fuck that. Make your own opportunity. The internet is leveling the playing field for everybody. Shit, earlier this year and especially in 2016, I was putting random fucking beats up. You guys know. Go to my SoundCloud. There's random ass beats. There's a beat with like fucking 2,000 streams. And I have 38,000 followers. I don't give a fuck. I did that shit for fun. Do it, you know what I mean? Start posting your shit, stop being scared, and be ready to get your ass handed to you if the shit is whack. But also be ready to gain some real fucking followers if the shit is heat, you know what I mean? That's it, that's the name of the game, guys. Stop, stop waiting for beats. Oh, I'm saving this just in case Drake wants to hear these. I'm saving these beats just in case the future, um, I meet Future's a and r and I want to send them my beats. I'm waiting, waiting. I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity for, you know, fucking, um, you know, Lil Uzi Vert to work on an album so that I can find out who his a and r is and send them all these really amazing beats that I just made. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, waiting. All you do is fucking wait, 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 wait until you're fucking 34 and uh, you just waited for 10 years not doing jack shit. You know what I'm saying? No one cares. Start doing. Stop waiting. By the way, I'm at the crib. Say hi to Josh. J. Jules. Y'all better follow J. Jules. J Y J W L Z. Follow the homie. J Y J W L Z. J Jules, follow him. If you get a beat and it gets a hundred views and you get five comments, you should be commenting and replying to every single one of those five people. Yo, I appreciate the support. Yo, you're right. I, I need to turn down the snare. Yo, you're right. The melody was trash. Yo, I appreciate it. And then follow him back. This is community, guys. You guys need to start getting off your ass and stop pretending that the shit ain't real. These are real people listening to your shit. These are real people 
that are commenting on your SoundCloud, commenting on your Instagram, commenting on your Facebook, commenting on your YouTube, commenting on your beat thread thread. Comment back, you know what I mean? You don't have the luxury of sitting there reading the comments and not replying to any of them. You don't have that luxury, homie. You do not have that luxury, homie. You need to go fucking reply to every single person that engages with you and stop being lazy. 30 day challenge, one new beat every day. Do that shit, and report back to me and let me know how that goes. Oh, well, my wife's in Japan. Oh, she is. Hey, hey. Hey, wow. So, how are you going back wow. Are you in LA a lot? I am. Yeah. Well, I, I understand the hustle from so many different aspects. And I'm, like, like, most rappers can't make money if they're not rapping. True. If they're not, if they're not making albums. Most producers can't make money if they're not like, producing hits 24 7. True. Like, you found. Like a rope, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like a happy medium, a happy medium. And it took years, like a long time to set it up. It's working out though. Thank you.